accounting principle welcome back to sense business studies please subscribe also i have my own youtube channel called crazy igcse which has subjects based on igcse biology physics english mathematics business economics and accounts so please go and subscribe there as well thank you so this is my channel crazy igcse so now let's look at the types of people who use the financial statements data first is the banker the banker decides whether they should give loan to the company or not then is the investors so investors they need to know whether to invest in the business or not owner needs to know his profit and the tax department needs to know uh, needs to know the statement uh, financial statements data for tax purposes accounting objectives the first accounting object is, objective is re relevance reliability understandability and comparability now there are 11 accounting principles first is business entity concept going concern concept prudence concept historic cost concept money measurement concept dual aspect concept consistency concept materiality concept accruals or matching principle substance over form and realization concept now we're looking at each of them first is business entity concept so here the transactions of the business should only be recorded and not the owner's personal transactions this means whatever the owner is entitled to uh, in his personal transaction should not be recorded in the business transactions the business transactions are separate then is money measurement concept here transactions which are recorded in monetary terms only can be recorded now here it means they should be measure uh, they need to be recorded in money value then historic cost concept historic co historic cost concept is that the transactions should be recorded at their cost to the business realization concept is that the profits are realized which means they're actually earned when the cash or a debtor replaces the goods or services a transaction is not realized when an order is received or when a debtor pays his debt dual aspect concept so trans transactions affect two items in a business one is the debit item and the other one is the credit item now the debit item and credit item will always be there for every transaction which is being um, recorded in a business the other one is cons consistency concept here the transactions which have similar nature will be recorded in the same ma manner like in the same way materiality concept is that you should not waste time recording the small transactions of the business accruals concept is that the trading and profit and a trading and profit and loss account should only include the income earned and the expenses incurred for the current financial year of the business the prudence concept is that the profits should not be overstated they shouldn't be shown too high and the value of assets also should not be shown too high Going concern concept, the assumption that a business will exist for a long time is called going concern concept. Substance over form. So this is an example. Here a machine is bought on higher purchase. Higher purchase means like in installments. It remains the possession of the seller until the last payment is made. So it could be in a legal or form view. And then from an accounting view, the machine will be used in the business and that is why it will be shown in the balance sheet as a fixed asset of the business, which will be a substance. So Sense Business Studies website is www.sensebusiness.co.uk Thank you for watching. 